Okay, I'm starting off this new release video with a little bit of a sad story. I'll try and leave like a timestamp down below if you don't want to listen to the story. But I think it's worth listening to if you watch my content. So I am saying a RIP to this spread. So I was like filming my new release video and then I finished it and I'm like, all right, I'm going to film my plan with me. And I was filming my plan with me and I paused and I, <sighs> I'm so mad about it So. I went to restart filming and my camera was like not letting me click record and I was like okay weird and I was like trying to do all the things and I'm like all right let me just try a different memory card so I tried a different memory card and it worked and I didn't even think twice about it so I like only have like two days of it filmed like on the other memory card so I go to put my new release video and this section of in like the base of the plan with me on my computer and the memory card's like nah like we are not connecting and I'm like okay weird Nick can fix anything. So I give it to Nick and he has like, he's like, yeah, I don't think so. Like apparently memory cards, when they're done, they're done. They don't give you any sign. They just like kaputs. So needless to say, my memory card died. Nick like tried taking it apart and like soldering things together and it like just didn't work. So I have ordered new memory cards and I'm going to get rid of anything that is not like less than a year old. Well, Nick said he can use them for other things, but so RIP to this spread. You won't ever see the plan with me on it. So I am just giving you a little look here. This is my New Year's Eve spread. It was a really, really fun week. Lots of fun times. And then this turned out so beautiful. I did do the double sidebar because, oops, because I did do the extra day on Christmas to make Christmas, um, like my secondary Christmas day because I was sick if you didn't watch this plan with me. So I think I am going to move this into my new planner. That's why that there's a space in between. But just really sad because I filmed this plan with me. I was really excited to do the voiceover and it will never see the light of day. So that is my sad story for the day. And then let's go ahead and get into this week's new releases, which I did already film. I already filmed these, so I might be a little less enthused re-talking about it again, but I'm going to try to get in the spirit of new releases because I was very, very excited for these new releases and you'll see why as we go through. But let's go ahead and flip through the top. So the first thing here I have is one single doodle and this is Chipotle. So Hannah requested for me to do the fast food bags in the pastel colorways. And this is one, I think Chipotle out of the ones that aren't pastel currently is the most popular. I'm gonna put pictures of the other ones that I redid because I actually gave them to her yesterday. She was like, do you want me to send you a clip of them? And I was like, girl, thank you. But I'll just put a digital on there. So um, there is, I think, four other ones and they are all the pastel versions of the fast food. So if you wanna pick those up, those will be available under doodles. And then I also do have the color of the week. So this color is a really pretty purple. I was going through my doodles and I was really excited that this color was coming out. It was chosen by y'all on Facebook because I don't actually have any like dark purples. Like I think there might be one, but it's like a completely different tone. So this one is going to be great to add to your collection. It comes in the normal 12 sheets. There is a buy all bundle option and this will be available Wednesday at noon Eastern through Sunday. There are two new characters coming out this week. There is number 55, which is um, Princess Polly. Polly? Polly? No. Princess P Poppy. I don't know what I'm talking about. And then also Branch, which is 56. These are Trolls characters. going to be perfect with that Trolls kit that came out, and I just love them. They are so, so cute. Then we do have a new Scribbler this week. Again, I gave Hannah the blonde one while she was here. I was like, here you go. Um, but it will also come in the blonde option. And this is a board game scribbler. How cute. She kind of has determination in her eyes. And she has is holding a little very like generic game board. So it could work with any game that you have in mind. But these come in the normal six options. Like I said, there's also the blonde one. But I already gave it to Hannah when I saw her yesterday. Then let's get into the foil bundles for this week, which are so pretty. I don't think when I looked, I had thought that there was a green hollow but I don't think that I had anything in the new format in green hollow so these are both in the confetti and I don't know how long I'm going to be doing two foil bundles a week but I've been enjoying the ride that we're on so I am just very pumped because they're on special pricing for the first um a couple of days from Wednesday through Sunday. So get your hands on them whenever they're on the discount because they are gorgeous. I love this one. I really thought I had like a celestial in a green hollow, but maybe not. But this is so stinking pretty. This is in the confetti bundle. So y'all have seen this format. It's just so 
perfect. It's very neutral. I feel like you can mix in other items and they will match really nicely. But this is a green hollow. Don't I, actually, did I just get a green hollow something from Maggie? I wonder if they're the same and you guys can match them. Mm, yeah, I would say they're not the same, but they're similar. So if you wanted to get the, I don't know if it's green hollow, whatever color sounds closest in the leaves, I feel like you can mix and match the confetti if you wanted to break it up a little bit. I might actually put these near each other. I will say I don't think that they're the exact same but there's so many foil colors in the like foil world that um, there's like so many variations of green hollow. But I would say that those are very similar to the untrained eye. They would look basically the same. So if you wanted to kind of pair those together, I also think this would look really pretty mixed with the strawberry kit that's coming out this week to kind of bring out the green since I did go with the more pinky tones in here. I think that'd be really pretty with this or Pixie Grove that came out. I think that'd be really lovely with that as well. So that is the first foil bundle for this week. Then the second one is this really pretty lilac. I actually uh, voice mode Kirsten. I was like, Kirsten, am I going crazy? I feel like this is like not a matte, but not a shiny. Like I feel like you could see it if I pulled out. Like I know that there's like an icy blue color that's like a shiny or um, yeah, I do have it. No, I don't have it anywhere. I feel like there's like shiny foils and then there's like matte foils and then there's like semi matte foils. Does that make any sense? I'm trying to find that like blue. Uh, I don't know where I went. But this purple is not like shiny, like metallic. I don't have anything to compare it to. Um, like let's say even like a silver. Do I have a silver? Let me pull out a silver for y'all. It's not like that kind of shiny. But it's also not matte. It kind of reminds me of like the hollow. Like I don't feel like it's super shiny. Like this is like almost a mirror. You see the difference? And then this has kind of like a matte. I feel like this is like a semi-matte. I feel like it's more like hollow where you don't almost see like a mirror, like gold and silver, where it has like almost like a and hollow's not matte, it's just not shiny. So it's a non-shiny lilac. Probably just gonna call it lilac because realistically, I don't think that anyone besides me is going to care too much about it as far as it being like a semi matte do you see what I'm saying like it's still shiny but it doesn't have that like high gloss shine I think that this would look really really pretty actually with this kit that's coming out this week called the forest because of that purple I think it would just bring out the like purpley tones like even the bluish tones in there as well because I feel like this is like a bluer toned purple there's a lot of kits I think that this would look really really pretty with let me know what you plan to use it with in the comments down below but I am so excited to have this foil color because it's very unique it is like I said like kind of like a lilac in the confetti format so you'll be able to match it up with a lot of different things but I find myself whenever I can like find a foil that's like more of like a pastel like just being obsessed with it like whenever like the icy blue colors especially with spring and summer coming around I feel like this one is going to be great paired with so many so many, so many, so many different things. I think it'll look kind of pretty with this one as well. Because there is some purples in here, um, but I didn't pull in purple for the colors of it. So let's go ahead and get into the kits. Let me show you the uh, non-exclusives first. So we do have strawberry, which I did mention with that green. I think this would also look really pretty with silver, matte bronze, matte silver, um, gold, uh, rose would be really pretty with this one if you had more of like an olive green let's go ahead and give it a little flip I just really love strawberries I love these more like vintagey color take on it they're just a little bit more muted a little bit more dusty and I just think it's such a pretty vibe perfect for spring and summer perfect for a quote box and then the freebie on the ultimate and mini is just more boxes so there are a ton of boxes in here and then there is fashion options Actually, all of these have like plentiful box options if you're including fashion and extra boxes add-ons. So you have uh, the ultimate kit. Every kit this week does come in mini and ultimate. There is the doodle. There's the label, ombre, functional if you want to add any of those on. And then I also do have two different fashion options, both of which do have tall boxes, tall boxes, tall boxes on them. So lots of add-on options with that one. Then if we move into the next kit, this is called Birthday Bash. And I think this is so pretty. I love the fashion options the most in this. First of all, the one on the full boxes page has split dye hair, which we know 
I just love and then I love this like table texture I don't know there's just sometimes there's weird things in kits that I'm like wow I love that so much so I did like extract that and then put it in the backgrounds of these two boxes and the other flat lays in the kits but I just love these uh people's outfits and I love the theme I love the colors of this I feel like this one would be really pretty hollow lavender hollow silver gold um even if you wanted to do matte bronze to kind of tone it down, but I think sparkly hollow would be really pretty with it as well. If you wanted to do a mixed metal of like hollow, sparkly hollow, silver and sparkly hollow, if you wanted to do a fun foil, a really pretty like hot pink would be nice with this one or a blue, a mixture of the two. Again, I think gold and golden champagne lights would be really pretty as well. And then the extra box here is the alternate skin tone for this box and then an alternate skin tone option for that box. And I love this bottom washi. I think it is so, so Fun. So that is birthday bash, and it's just so pretty. I was actually thinking, like, eh, I have with I have the haul. Well, by the time that you see this, it'll already be done. But well, so my last video was supposed to be my plan with me, but I think I'm gonna make it my monthly haul. But I was like, I could do like a mock spread and then do like a voiceover, but also I'm tired and I have a lot of work to do. I have I'm not even exaggerating, probably like 16 art sets sitting on my desk that I like on my desktop of my computer that I need to get to like 16, maybe, maybe honestly, like I was like 16 is a conservative number. I think I have more that I need to get to, but I've just been tired. So doodle label also production has been tight. So it's not even like if I get them done, I can't even release them functional ombre and then again there are two different fashion options they do differ from these ones so if you wanted to pick them up there are, are like alternate alternative uh like dress color hair color skin tone color so and i love the tall box as well on that one and then last but not least we do have exclusive art for this week i'm trying to release exclusive art every single week like that's my goal because i think i have enough is to release at least one new, not reformat, new exclusive art every single week. And my lifetime goal is to release four kits a week. So I think that that could happen this year. So this is the force, obsessed with it. I, again, like Wakanda last week, I know nothing about Star Wars. I know like, I know baseline of both, like base, base, baseline. Um, but I haven't, I, I think I watched Star Wars, like all of them when I was younger, like all of them that were readily available. But when commissioning this, I just was like, I want something that's Star Wars, but like the first three. So that's kind of where I was thinking the ideas, but then the artist like mood boarded the whole thing. And I feel like they did a, a great job. So you have your full boxes here. I love these colors. They're very neutral, dusty, and just like a really pretty vibe. And I kind of like want to use this kit. I remember, oh, I remember in my first take of this new release video, I was like pop culture summer. I think I want to do pop culture summer because I don't really care about summer kits too much. There's usually one that I like is a mega banger for me. But other than that, I could care less about summer. So I kind of want to do pop culture summer. The only thing in summer that I really like want a kit for is usually Bree's birthday, maybe back to school and um, Bree's birthday, back to school and Father's Day. But I feel like all of those I could use a pop culture kit for. Like Bree's birthday, Step Brothers. Nick, Val Nick uh, Father's Day, I could use this. I could use the Westworld Mystery. I kind of really want to use the Westworld Mystery and then just use this a different time. Maybe June, I'll just do like all like things that remind me of Nick pop culture. But I just feel like that'd be so fun to do pop culture summer. And I'm just telling, oh, then they have, the, these are the half box box, the new ones that were in like the Wednesday kit and stuff. There's another one that has these, but I don't remember what it was. Um, might be one that hasn't come out yet. But like I was saying, I'm trying to think of what kit that was. I think it's coming out next with the next week, but I'm not sure. Um, another scene here. I feel confident that like the kits that I haven't used plus the kits that are coming out, I would say 70% of the kits that I haven't finished like putting together are pop culture. And a lot of them are nostalgia based pop culture, which I just feel like I had a lot like most of them I haven't seen kits for ever. So I think y'all will be very, very excited for what is to come because they're all so good and they're just very much so a vibe. So I think I might do Pop Culture Summer. Let me know if you also want to join me on Pop Culture Summer. Maybe we can make it a hashtag. It would be cute. So we have the ultimate, the mini. We have the label, the ombre, the functional, a the doodle. And then we have not only, oh, sorry, label two. 
I like showing these next to each other so you can see the difference. So this is more of like a greeny charcoal. This is more of like a purpley gray color. And then we do have not one, but two, but three extra box add-ons. So basically a whole nother kit's worth of boxes. But I mean, and like, especially because there's the two in the deco and then you have the extra scene as the freebie. And then you have all these, like there's just so many box options. It's kind of wild. So this is the option extra box one extra box two has a tall Darth Vader in it. Very cool. And then, uh, you have three, which has two double box scenes. Y'all no chill. I love it. It's just beautiful. And I know a lot of y'all love star Wars. So I think that y'all will be very into this kit, especially because bad to bound is I say it, but two bound bad to bound was whenever it came out, it was the best selling kit of the year, which I knew it would sell well because it was very much so I feel like the time of magical Disney inspired kits, but I did not expect it to be number one of the year. So we know you like Star Wars, so we are bringing it this year with all of the pop culture, all of the nostalgia art, and I cannot wait for y'all to see everything that has to come still. But that is everything for this week's new releases. Also very excited that y'all love the mystery. I had mentioned on Instagram stories that it was one of those themes that every single time I do a theme that has, I don't want to spoil it in case you want it to be a mystery. Every time I do a mystery with this theme, it is like a favorite and I am glad y'all love it. I'm just going to say right now though, March is everything. March is probably one of my favorite mystery kits of all time. And I've been talking about it for about six months now. It does have a new foil bundle format. It's very much so a more themed foil bundle, but is not like it it's also could be used with a lot of different things. So if you didn't want to use it with the kit, I feel like you could find a kit to use it with. Um, but it's a whole new uh, themed foil bundle. So you've never seen it before, which is fun. And the theme itself is very anytime, but also be very specific for a theme that a lot of people have been asking for. Um, so yeah, you're going to want to be signed up for March. If you're not, I feel like you're going to be kind of mad. So spots for those open up on the first, if you're not already subscribed. So definitely put that in your calendar because you're not going to want to miss this one. It is so good, but that is everything for this video. These releases will be live Wednesday at noon Eastern. The uh, color of the week will be available Wednesday through Sunday. And then the special pricing on the foil bundles is also during the same time period of Wednesday through Sunday. So that's everything. I'll talk to y'all in my next one.